No, I've heard one supplementary question. Question number three. Chris Farfoy. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. My question is to the member responsible for the airport authorities publicising lost property sales amendment bill. Why is it necessary for the airport authorities bill to be advanced at this time? Order. Order. No, Mr Speaker. Caraco. I refer the member to my earlier answers as to why this bill is a positive change. So the timing is not up to me. Like every other member of this House, I am at the mercy of the biscuit tin. Question. <laughs> Order. 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 Yeah, you'll get to afternoon smokers shortly. Supplementary question, Chris. I think we should all stay away from the carbs. Um, Mr Speaker, supplementary question. How many and which of New Zealand airports did he consult or approached him before submitting his bill? Nook Karako. Uh, kia ora, Mr Speaker. Sir, as I originally said, over my vast experience and time I was in the tourism industry, a number of my clients had lost luggage, sir, so I actually have, I did speak a lot to the airport authorities. Sir, but uh, over, the, over the beginnings of this bill, as I just said, Auckland Airport, sir, Auckland Airport, sir, was actually one of the ones that I actually have spoken to. Kia ora. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. There order. was some no order. Point of order, Chris Farfoy. Uh, I, I understand there was some noise, but I did ask the member um, what level of consultation or who had approached them before the bill, not and after. And, and there was there were, order. The question was ultimately addressed. It did take some time. Uh, Auckland Airport was the answer. Question number four. The honourable.